All right, on the All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about overcoming adversity while in auto repair. All right, so to get started with this video, I'm going to tell a story. And this is a very recent story. A couple weeks ago, Cole was assigned a Toyota Land Cruiser with a PTI, pre-trip inspection. So he took the vehicle in, inspected it, realizing that the timing belt was due. We did it last and it was due again. Steering rack was leaking, valve covers were leaking, you know, bunch of stuff. Rode up 20 plus hours on this vehicle and it sold. Awesome. And then the nightmare started. <laughs> The rest of the work went fine. Time and belt job, no problem. Cole had no problems with it. What did, however, happen was the power steering rack. He went with a AEE rack and, well, you'd crank it up, go to do the bleed procedure, and one, it would literally boil out of the reservoir. And when I say boil, I mean boil, as in 350 degrees. It got hot. <laughs> no lie, I mean, literally the infrared camera, my infrared camera said it, the rack was at 350 degrees. Yes, we were using Toyota fluid. Well, that's where the story goes to heck and back. Something was wrong with the AEE rack and we knew it. <laughs> so unfortunately, a lot of damage had been done. We warrantied the rack, put a Mavel in it. Well, it, we still had problems. It still got hot. It still was giving us trouble. <clears throat> we kept losing power steering assist. Uh, he went through a lot of stuff. He went and you know, flushed the lines, bled the system multiple times. We put a new pump on it. <clears throat> we put a OEM pump in it, an OEM rack in it, and we kept having problems. But Cole kept with it. He realized that fixing the car was the most important thing. Now, keep in mind, World Pack warranty. So he's getting paid for warranting parts up until the OEM stuff we got from the dealer. One little check valve that was sticking after the original rack grenaded. I mean, we've had metal debris in the power steering system. I mean, that's how bad it's gotten. One little check valve at the rack sticking caused all the rest of the problems, all the rest of the unable to keep power steering assist. That was what kept happening. We would lose power steering assist once the vehicle revved over a certain point, pump would get noisy, lose power, we would lose power steering assist. Kept going with it and by happenstance, Cole was questioning everything he was doing because you know, when you're getting your butt kicked, you do that. He came over with the banjo bolt for the rack and the banjo bolt for the pump, and he wanted to verify that he was using the correct ones and the correct places. And I, I looked at both of them and I go, yeah, you're using the correct one at the pump, but there's a check ball in this rack. I mean, by, happen, by happenstance. I mean, I, I did not know that check ball was there, so I'm not saying I'm a super tech. But I noticed that check ball and well, that was the problem. He went through heck and back, stuck with it and fixed the customer's car. And that's what you need to understand you need to do. You know, we need to fix customer's cars. I know sometimes it sucks. You know, I've got a 45 minute drive in and I got to come in and I know I got a nightmare waiting for me. That drive sucks. But keep in mind, just like Cole, you can preserve yeah. 
Keep in mind, just like coal, you can persevere. I can't say that. Just like coal, you can win. It just might take you a few, few swings to actually win the game. And that's an important lesson. We all get our butts kicked. We all get our butts kicked. I've got a comeback sitting right there. So we all get our butts kicked. We all make mistakes. We're human. But that's the thing is we got to, once we realize we've got something wrong, we got to figure out what it is and fix it. So just a little inspirational pep talk from Monday. So get out there, fix those cars. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.